You know, I saw a video on YouTube saying that the Ford Bronco kinda sucked. I mean, the soft top is extremely loud on the freeway and it doesn't have a V8, but I'm kind of enjoying it. Real quick, today's video is sponsored by ButcherBox, but more on that later. What is going on guys? Welcome back to the vlog and thank you for tuning in. I am back and I am here at ADV, Advanced Fiberglass, because the body kit on the Ford Bronco is finished and we're here to take a look at it. They just pulled the Bronco around. <laughs> it looks so good. white i know that sounds weird to say this body kit just made the bronco so much more aggressive we have front rear fenders and the hood the front fenders are wider by two inches and we now have a vented hood you guys might notice that there's no fender liners inside the bronco right now they're working on creating a fender liner that's going to fit with the 37s at the moment my stock fender liner will not work with the 37s we're about to put on but probably in the next couple weeks they should have something available if you guys want to see what the bronco actually looks like finished painted there is a wrapped bronco right here with the same body kit and i didn't know this was going to be here ironically this is randy's from savage garages bronco here so just to get an idea all painted what she's gonna look like this is what we're looking at so we got the bronco a little late so there's gonna be a lot of progress as fast as possible so that we can make up for some lost time and adv seriously killed it with this body kit I'm gonna link their stuff in the description below in case you guys at home have a Bronco and you also wanna do the same kit. This is their Ram Air Hood as well as the two inch wider fenders front and rear so you know, but let's go say hi to John, one of the owners inside and then we'll get out of here and I'll show you guys the new wheels we got. What's up? What's going on How's guys? How's it going? It's going. Dude, the kid looks sick. Yeah, you're happy with it? Oh yeah, right. I'm stoked on it. Yeah, we're really happy with it. We uh, put a lot of time and effort into it and I think it looks bitchin'. I'm so happy about this body kit, but uh, let's get out of here. We need to head over to the Weld Wheel warehouse to pick up a set of wheels for the Bronco right now. I just pulled out of the driveway just smiling, grinning cheek to cheek just because I could see the hood. I love modifying cars. I love aftermarket parts. I love this industry. This is amazing. Just the creativity and the things that you can do is, is just incredible. I'm so excited to modify this. Next stop, <laughs> weld wheels. This is crazy to see this many wheels. Wow. All right, we got the new weld wheels. I can't wait to unbox those and show them to you guys, especially with the body kit on the Bronco. It's gonna be sick. I love I still have the sold sign in here. I have like no miles on this. We're ready to a body kit. We're doing wheels and tires and soon long travel suspension kit. Let's go, let's go, let's go. We're running out of daylight. I would love to take a moment to thank today's sponsor, Butcher Box. Butcher Box delivers high quality, 100% grass fed, grass finished beef, free range organic chicken, humanely raised pork, and wild caught seafood directly to your doorstep. And they do it for an unbeatable value with flexibility on both boxes and delivery frequencies. To put it simply, high quality meals delivered to your home at a value better than any grocery store. Butcher box sources from farmers and fishermen who meet the highest standards for quality. They offer four curated box options as well as the popular custom box so you get exactly what you and your family love. Let's go ahead and open the box and see what is inside right off the bat. Chicken tendies. But look at this, ground beef. Oh, these are the St. Louis ribs. Bacon, ribeyes, some nice marbling on them, sirloin beef tips, that's been out of these. Chicken tenders. Butcher Box ships your order frozen at the peak freshness and packed in an eco friendly 100% recyclable box. It saves a ton of time going to the grocery store as well as it gets you much higher quality meats and at a better price. From there, it's easy cooking. Click the link in the description below. Butcher Box is now offering new members free bacon for life, plus $100 off if you click the link in the description below. <laughs> yeah, it's cool. Yeah. We'll make it work. They're gonna do a five inch kit, but it's not gonna be available until at least February. So this is what we're working with. Here's the 37 inch tires. These are massive. Huge thank you to Nexon Tire for supplying tires for the Bronco build. 
And thank you, JDM of California, for transporting them all the way from up north to down here where we are. This is massive. <laughs> Just look at the comparison from the stock tire to this tire. The stock tires aren't that small either. <laughs> So we're here at Adventure Off-Road in Huntington Beach. We got ourselves a lift. Danny's taking off the wheels and tires right now. And the fellas here are going to mount the beadlock wheels. You guys want to see the wheels? The moment of truth. Let's take a look at these wheels. And I appreciate Weld because this is honestly super last minute. ADV crushed the body kit out over the weekend. Now I'm going to forewarn you. The offsets are really aggressive, so it might poke a little. It might rub a little. Oh, I love unpackaging a new set of wheels. Oh, they look beadlock, they're faux beadlock. They do have the beadlock option for these wheels, but this is what they had available at the time frame that we needed them, which was now. There is one problem with running 37s, and it's that the parent taillight isn't gonna work. So we're gonna have to relocate this. I'm gonna remove it for now. I already did one, I'm gonna move this side and uh, should be easy to pull up, we'll see. Sorry. All right, let's take a look, shall we? Oh, no freaking way. <laughs> Knowing what these offsets are, Sandy is still mounting tires to the wheels. <laughs> he thinks they're gonna fit. I guess we'll find out. This is gonna look so insane. I mean, I guess go big or go home, right? Oh, my God. That's beefy. I'm gonna remove these bars right now so that we can fit the 37s. We might still need to take a saws out to them. Oh, oh, get f oh. Oh. All right, saws off. <laughs> you know, I've decided to go nice on her. We're not gonna pull the saws out. I noticed that I think we can just remove this piece of the front bumper, so we'll try that. And then we might bust out the saws out. Immediately, no. Immediately, that looks better. Until we figure out how we're going to do the long travel kit on the Bronco, I don't mind it. I think it looks badass and mean, but obviously when we do long travel, we're gonna have to tuck those wheels in a little bit and get those fenders over the wheels. But for now, I love it. Ready? Yep. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I think it's gonna clear. This is fucking huge. It looks sick. Oh my God. It looks, it looks fucking badass. <laughs> It looks so much better now. These wheels look so good. You need to lift. It does need a lift. It looks like a Jeep, but honestly, I like it. All right, a quick and dirty karate chop. Please don't look too closely at that. We're gonna go back, we're gonna clean that up, but I gotta get on the road because uh, I, got, I got a radio show that I'm filming remote in California for the Atlanta viewers out there, so I, I gotta go. But uh, first, I, I gotta show you guys what this looks like. saying that the Ford Bronco kind of sucked. I mean, the soft top is extremely loud on the freeway and it doesn't have a V8, but I'm kind of enjoying it. The body kit and the 37s changed everything. I also forgot my Monster Energy hat. So we came to where everyone goes to drive their trucks off road and of course it is closed today. So I drove through a little tiny mud puddle and that was fun, it was stupid, but it was fun. So we're gonna try one more exit and if not, we'll go ahead and close out the video because I got a Corvette to work on, but that's gonna be another episode, guys. There's just like mud flying <laughs> everywhere. Oh, the cop. Yeah, you're okay. I don't have a license plate <laughs> and my tires are a out there. Oh, well, let's find out, right? Oh no, oh god. 
Oh yeah, he's pulling you over for sure. Uh, maybe not. Oh no, he's going no, around. He's going around. around. He's just going to eye you. He's just going to literally look at you like you idiot. You're getting off here though. before we can figure out doing a long travel suspension kit, like a true four link rear and a bypass coilovers in the front and wider track width, just bigger arms, some thicker fenders and maybe a smaller tire, but we gotta get the suspension dialed first. Once we get that, we'll definitely be hitting the desert a lot more than we'll be hitting the mountains. Well, technically, this gate is open. Oh, uh, that's a good sign. Did we find something? Here in that turbo spool? <laughs> it feels like you lost her all over. Oh, okay, you it's you okay. broke an axle? I thought I snapped an axle for a second. Oh wait, look, you can surf the bank. <laughs> okay. We're in too high with the traction control off. <laughs> oh. Hey, good. I can't see. Oh. <laughs> Those popping noises are not comforting <laughs> so at all. No, right? Well, that is a wrap for today. I hope you guys are enjoying the Bronco content. Tomorrow I go to check in and do an update on the 458. And yes, I will be revealing the color that I chose and it is definitely not what you guys were expecting. So please, if you enjoy this video, all I ask is that you share it with your friends and to also subscribe if you don't already. But thank you guys so much for watching. Ikra, we out here and Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays. Have a happy new year. Bye. <laughs> Again, thank you to Butcher Box for sponsoring today's episode.